Hi everyone, I hope you're having a good week. Um, today I'd like to show you something that somebody asked me um, last week, which is how do you create a um, randomized texture effect on a surface? So let's say you have a flow and you want it to apply a, uh, let's say, a random marble effect that has various um, shading and various uh, rotations on it. How would you then apply it to this um, set of tiles? You would normally have to create a, um, a custom shader for at least 10 different tiles. So you can randomize it individually on your tiles, right? So um, I'm gonna show you a way of doing this using a cloner and a random effector. So I'm going to go to my textures and create a new texture. And inside my texture, I'm going to go down to, uh, I'm going to turn off the reflectance. I'm going to go down to my color. And inside my texture drop down, I'm going to go to um, more graph and I'm going to go to multi shader. So we're going to use this multi shader inside the texture to apply our set of textures. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the textures. Um, I want to randomize these four textures basically onto these set of tiles in a random fashion. So inside my multi shader, I'm going to go to add folder and I'm going to go down to my texture folder, which is here. I'm going to say yes. And here they are my four textures are inside my folder I'll just need to apply my textures onto my plane there you go and as you can see it only sampled the first texture and applied it um, not randomly but linearly onto all my tiles but what I want is a randomized effect and I want to be able to use all four textures so one of those textures has a slight tint, one of them is a bit darker, one is brighter, and one is just um, regular. So how do I then apply these four textures randomly onto these um, tiles? What I need to do is go to my texture, then I'm going to go down to my more graph effector, then choose random and here it is up there and make sure that your random effector is connected to your cloner so I'm just gonna drag and drop my random effector into my cloner and there you go you can see uh, the random effector take an effect so I don't want my random effector to affect my um, 3d model uh, physically what I want to do though is uh, um, I want it to use a different channel. So I'm going to go to my parameters and I'm going to uncheck my position and keep the scale and rotation unchecked. So nothing is being modified physically. But I'm going to go down to my color mode and this is where I want to um, add my effector color. So change the color mode from off to effector color. And there you go. Now you see the four textures being applied to these tiles randomly and what I can also do is I can go down to my random uh, effector go to effector and play with the seed effector down here which will kind of randomize my tiles you know in, a, in different ways so I can just pick the arrangement that I like and I kind of like this one so I keep this one and there you go this is how you apply various textures to a set of um, object or element using the random um, effector onto a cloner and there you go that's uh, that's it and uh, I'll see you guys soon